Hi everyone, it's Stefan from EBC Brakes and welcome to our Tech Talks video series. So I'm here with Steve Payne today down at our Bristol Friction Factory. Steve, what are we going to be talking about? Well hi, yeah, Steve Payne, I'm a Research and Development Manager here and um, we're going to introduce the full range of automotive friction materials, starting with the standard black OE replacement pad and right through the range to a full track race material. So I'm going to be asking Steve some of the most frequently asked questions about our pad compounds and he's going to be giving us the answers. So let's get into it. So welcome to EBC Brakes Tech Talk series. Today we're going to be talking about our Ultimax compound. Steve, what is Ultimax? Well Ultimax, here it is, the black pad is, um, is our OE replacement pad, so it's a, it's a street pad. Okay, and what is this primarily designed for on what type of vehicles? Well, as I say, it's, it's a street pad, so any car, it's a massive range of, uh, of applications. Pretty much any, any vehicle you care to mention will have an Ultimax pad, Ultimax 2 pad uh, for. Okay, and as an OE replacement, I'm guessing this is R90 approved, this is fully road legal. Yeah, fully road legal, anywhere and everywhere, so R90 approved across the range, yeah. So does this offer any improvement over OE pads, or would you say it's a level playing field? Uh, in terms of performance, uh, R90 means it performs uh, in a very similar way to the OE materials. Um, but what you'll find is it's a much more cost effective way of replacing your brakes than going back to your dealer and getting OE pads. And if someone wanted to say, go on track, is this the type of pad they should be using? It's not, no. There are, there are a whole range of uh, compounds that we'll, we'll get to in future episodes, but uh, this one isn't. This is aimed at the road only. And is there anything used with these pads to stop the friction material coming away from the back plate? There are. There's a couple of uh, methods that we use. So obviously we've got the friction material bonded to the backing plate, so we have an adhesive in there. But then we also have this mechanical retention system, which you can see through the perspex here. We have hooks of metal which have been literally dragged up out of the surface of the back plate, which provides a mechanical lock between the friction material and the backing plate. So that's going nowhere. At EBC, you know, we advertise these as a silent formulation. Are these really a quiet pad? Yeah, they are. I mean, any manufacturer who says they never get a squeak out of any pad ever is, 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 is dreaming, really. So there's always going to be an odd one, and there's an odd vehicle that you get a squeak on from time to time, but very, very infrequent. So it is, it's a low noise pad. And you know, there's a lot of pads out there that create a lot of dust. Is this one of them? It's not, no. I mean, the, uh, the majority of pads that create a lot of dust will be very heavily loaded with, um, with, with ferrous metal, such as steel and iron. Uh, and it's, it's this, when it wears away, that tends to stick to your alloys, and that's what you see. This is a ferrous-free formulation, okay. um, and if you want to stick a magnet on it, you'll, you'll, you'll see that for yourself. Um, so no, it's, it's very low dust. Okay, and for anyone buying Ultimax, do they need to replace their discs or rotors at the same time, or can they use them on old ones if they needed to? No, they can go on old rotors. It's going to happen from time to time because you don't replace both at the same time necessarily. Uh, so what we have is this, this high friction abrasive compound, very thin layer of compound on the front face, and um, this will help it to bed in, particularly on a, a worn disc where you haven't got perfect contact between the two. Uh, so no, any any, any sort of cast iron rotor, used or new, it will, it will work fine. Okay, so final question on these. So for anyone who's purchased these and is going to try and bed them in, what, what should they do? Well really it's just a case of taking it easy over the first 500 miles. The, the bedding compound accelerates the bedding by, uh, by braiding the disc initially. Um, but you just want to take it easy for the first 500 miles or so. Um, Obviously, if somebody runs out in front of you, you need to stamp on the brakes. But but other than that, take it easy. Give them give them some time to, to, to physically match up to the shape of the disc, so that you've got full contact between the two, and that's when you'll get your full performance out of them. Well, thank you very much, Steve, for explaining Ultimax Two to us. Um, next episode, we're going to be talking about our red stuff compound. If you'd like to find out a bit more about our Ultimax or Ultimax Two compound. You can head to the link in the description where it will take you to a page that will give you a full explanation on these pads and what they should and shouldn't be used for. So we'll see you in the next episode.